Alright, hello folks. Um, this is a video, hopefully a quick video. Um, I am transferring the Nahandu Colorado Velosis into a bigger container. Let me open this up for you. We just molted last night, or sometime yesterday. Ignore the cricket. We're growing too quick. Here's the old malt right here. I keep them on my desk. So she went from that to that. Cricket, get out of here. Where am I going to put you? Can't go running loose. Crap. These little pinheads, man, they're hard to catch, harder than the adults. Uh, I'll put you in here. There you go. Okay. As I was saying, as I get my camera in focus, the handy molted. Um, and the Pacillotheria molted. That's her molt that she just gave me. Very good sized fangs. And the yellow legs that she's developing quite rapidly. Anyways, I think this Nahandu might be a female. I'm hoping it is. And, uh, I'm putting her into this because she, you know, go another probably two or three, maybe four molts in here without a problem. Um, so I'm going to see if I can... Set this up. Have it at an angle, hopefully. There we go, that seems to work. Okay, so what I'm doing first and foremost, this already had some eco earth in it that I was using to store. Um, so I got some more in there. But first, I have to get all these stupid containers out. And I don't want to, I want to put a lot because these guys are obligate burrowers. So they'll burrow on their own. They don't really need anything to burrow with or against. Even though I gave her a piece of cork bark, a little piece, not a big piece. What's this? Some of it's been dried out and reused and I'm kind of recycling my stuff here. So you do this, you get it wet. And since I can't find my chopstick, my infamous chopstick that I used with so many things, it just disappeared. I don't know where it went, but it's gone. I gotta mix it with something else, so I guess I'll just use this Sharpie pen. These Sharpie pens are expensive, so it kind of sucks that I gotta use it. I don't feel like using the mini hook because, well, I like the mini hook more than I like the pen so I'm just gonna stop talking. Mm, now it looks like I'll probably need more water. And some people will say, you know, hey isn't that too big? Well, you know. The tarantula burrows really doesn't matter because they're happy in their own little world. People, I think, sometimes overthink tarantulas as far as difficulty or specialty or anything like that. You gotta keep in mind, they're primitive animals for the most part. Not in the sensory department, in the center department they're pretty uh, specialized. but. Overall, they haven't changed much for a very long time. And this is looking like the right amount of moisture I want. Um, so, you know, they're not something that you, could, you really have to overthink. They're nothing, you know, super difficult. We're not talking about, um, you know, king cobras here or anything like that. I'm just going to take this and kind of push it down some and smooth it out. All that good stuff. Da -da -da -da. And that's looking like it's going to be plenty moist. Just the right amount of moisture. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think of what I want to put in here. Put this in here.
some, some dismember. And this thing is pretty much ready for. That's really all it takes. Yeah, this is a Sterilite. I don't know what it's called. It's a little Sterilite with a clip thing. That's what it's going to be called from now on. Sterilite with a clip thing. And so now i got to put the tarantula in here. It shouldn't be too difficult because she's pretty easy to maneuver. And I don't have enough tilt on here. Well, small. I left the tripod in the garage. It was a smart move on my part. Now if I put the... That won't work either. Okay. My directing skills are outstanding. We'll just put it like that for now. You're going to miss a little bit of action, but I think you'll be alright. You know how action-packed my videos get. this game come on whoop we're still on the container apparently adult females of this species go for about 120 bucks give or take online so there she is this is the container she's in. She'll grow in this. And, uh... Probably grow a lot. They grow pretty quick. I think that they remind me a lot of, uh... The Brazilian salmon pink bird eater that I have in behavior and, you know, growth rate. They're pretty big species from what I understand. Not really big, but they're, you know, hefty. This one I got as a freebie, and I think it might be a female. It might be a little too early to tell, but I don't know how close I can get to this without it blurring up. Yeah, but she'll probably go dig under that and make a little burrow and stuff like that. And... Yep, good stuff. All right, see you later.